No, I don't waste no time Hello, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach and welcome to the first video of a five part series where you guys can watch me build Facebook ads. We've done this a couple of times in the past um, and I've gotten great feedback on it. We've built a dental campaign. We've built a campaign for car dealerships, one for restaurants and so on and so forth. And uh, this time I want to build a campaign for coaches to grow their Facebook group. This was upon request. Um, I've got a couple of clients that we've basically implemented a very similar funnel uh, for and we've gotten great results with them. Uh, a few, we've even gotten six figure results for them. So this is a very, very effective funnel and it's slowly but surely replacing the webinar funnel as well. So for those of you that are not familiar with the webinar funnel, basically what we are doing, um, let me just see smart drawing, I think this is how we can create squares very neatly, let's see if it works, there we go. So we've got the Facebook ad, and then what we do is we drive traffic to, so I'll just type the A here, we drive traffic to, okay, so this smart thing is going wrong already. Great start to the stream. Um, so we drive Facebook ads to a page, or an opt-in page, where we get people to sign up for a webinar. And a webinar is basically a video presentation where at the end of the presentation, you have provided value and then you switch to a pitch where you say, okay, if you wanna know more about this product or service, then this is your opportunity to uh, make a purchase. So the opt-in will take them to a page where, there we go, they can um, basically you know, watch either a video sales letter, which again is just a long video presentation, or it'll take you to a waiting room where we basically create the impression that they are actually attending a live webinar. Of course, in some cases, it actually is a live webinar. More often than not, and that's also just some information to you guys, if you're not fully aware of how the online marketing world works, more often than not, those presentations are pre-recorded. Um, everything from the comments to the questions asked, etc. everything is pre-recorded and pre-prepared. And uh, you basically send to a generic waiting room to create the impression that it's a real webinar. Um, and then of course you've got the webinar itself. Um, I don't know why this keeps disappearing. Maybe it should go off the, the smart drawing and just do pen. There we go. So we've got the actual webinar. And then at the end of that, you've got a pitch to buy the actual product or services pitch. Um, and then just sales page or something like that. Okay, so that's how the webinar funnel works. Um, and then basically the equation there is how much money can you get out of it? And then you reverse engineer um, how much you can spend to acquire a lead. So for example, let's say we've got a 1% conversion rate with this, which means for every 100 people that watch that webinar, one person purchases um, your cost per lead on the front end, so um, you know, basically to generate a um, a lead, sorry, is uh, is ten dollars. So that means f for a hundred people into your webinar, you are basically spending a thousand dollars. Then you basically have a one percent conversion rate for one sale. So if you've got a five thousand dollar product you've just 5x your money and that's based the whole equation. So the, the goal is to uh, work out as quickly as you possibly can what the conversion rate is overall. Of course, you've got small drop-offs here um, and you can work out the conversion rate per you know, section of the funnel, but you know the goal is to quickly figure out what the overall conversion rate is. Um, if it's 1% that is profitable, then you, know, you, you sort of know what your numbers can be. Um, if this is, for example, a $1,000 product, then you've broken even. So what you then try and do is you try and get your cost lead down from 10 to five and so on and so forth. So that is basically how a webinar funnel would work. Um, 
To be fair, towards the end of 2018, start of 2019, Facebook really started to clamp them down on these funnels. Um, why? Because more often than not, these funnels had to do with earning money online, multi-level marketing, and so on and so forth. So Facebook brought out this whole um, you know, ban against advertisements like this. And ever since then, you know, uh, gurus, online coaches, and so on and so forth, have basically tried to figure out another way of doing this. And one other way of doing this is basically keeping the exact same funnel, but then rather than running Facebook ads, you run YouTube ads. Why? Because Google don't care at all. If you give Google money, they will spend it and they will allow you to run uh, ads. So a lot of people, um, a lot of online coaches, etc., have switched to uh, YouTube ads. And quick disclaimer, not every online coach is a, a fake guru or anything like that. I'm not saying that. Um, but you know, anyone in the air money online niche or industry has uh, seen that it's become more difficult to run Facebook ads um, within this this niche and industry. So they've moved to YouTube ads, and you know, of course, some of them um, have a very successful product. Some of them not. That's up to you to judge. Um, but like I said, this whole funnel is becoming outdated. And yes, it's very hands off if it works. But there's no social aspect, there's no human touch or anything like that, which you know is great if you want to scale. But for a lot of coaches um, or a lot of people that were watching these webinars and going through this funnel, they missed that human interaction with the coach. And the coaches notice that there's a very low conversion rate with this. You know, it's hard to get a 1% conversion rate. It sounds very low, but it's very hard to actually get a 1% conversion rate overall with the amount of drop-offs, etc., And without that human touch, it's hard to get someone cold off the street that has never heard of the coach or the person providing the info product at all um, and then fork out $5,000, right? So what they then started to do is rather than go from the webinar to the pitch, they added a, um, basically, you know, a call funnel part of this as well. So the webinar pitched the call, the call pitched the, the, the product and so on and so forth. And then slowly but surely they realize, okay, it's getting more and more difficult to actually get a profitable webinar funnel off the ground. So what have we then started to do? We've started to, to look for alternatives. Let me just, okay, this is going to take too long. I'll just refresh the page, might be easier. Um, and one of the alternatives is to basically, I've just refreshed this page and it's just brought up everything again. Is there a way to quickly clean the page? Um, if not, I'll just do it by hand. Arrays is a way to, to increase the size of the eraser. No, okay, we'll just do it like this then. So yeah, so what we what they started to do then is find alternatives to start promoting their products. And like I said, the human interaction, that human touch was a very important factor. So uh, they then started to leverage Facebook groups. Why? Because Facebook group is a great way to build a community. Once you've done so, once you've gotten that person into the Facebook group, regardless of um, you know how long they're in there, they will always get your messages and you know they will always basically be part of that community. So if someone does not buy right away, because that's the, that's the other thing with the webinar, right? Like if someone might need longer um, to come to the decision that they want to join the program. You know, not everyone off the, like that said, cold off the street will come watch a two hour presentation and decide there and then, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, fork out $5,000 or $10,000, you know, anything like that to uh, to this coach that, that two hours ago, I did not know who this person was. So with the Facebook group, it's actually, um, you know, it, you don't have to have that, there's not that two hour window, basically. You know, it does, you can have a uh, much longer build up to you know, basically get that person to become a buyer. So what are we going to do today? What am I going to build before your eyes live? You know, you can watch along basically is the following. Facebook ad to a landing page. Why a landing page? Because we cannot directly um, promote Facebook groups through Facebook. So you can't run the URL to the Facebook group in the Facebook ads, unfortunately. So what we do is add to a landing page and then we direct them to the Facebook group. That way we are compliant with Facebook's policies because we're not directly promoting the group. Uh, there's a landing page in between and you know we are still getting a lot of people in the group um, without you know losing a lot of people through you know drop-offs and stuff like that. So there's a few other ways of doing this, of course. You can have a redirect page here. 
you can um, have them you know fill out a Facebook lead form and then in the emails direct them to the group and so on and so forth this for me has been the most proven way of getting people to join the group okay and we're not just gonna send them to a generic group or we're not going to create a group from scratch or anything like that no we are going to be using my very own new Facebook group called the agency scale and fast track community this is for existing agency owners that wants to basically you know get more help with their Facebook ads, get better results for their clients so that the clients stay longer. You know, their agency is much more stable. They can charge higher retainers as well because they're getting better results. And you know, it's basically this flywheel effect. Um, so one of the issues that a lot of agencies have and what I see, you know, a lot of people have that um, aren't enrolled in any of our higher ticket programs is they will start an agency, they will get a client then you know they will fail to get results for this client because they outsource it to someone on Upwork and so on and so forth. Um, so they'll lose a client and then they're back to square one. They need to get a client again. So start an agency, get a client, not get the results, and then the results that is lose a client, be back at the trenches and so on and so forth. It's like this reverse flywheel, right? Like there's, there's, there's no real growth there because you're constantly in the trenches trying to replace the clients that have left you in month one, in month two. Okay, so what we want to basically do is create an, another type of flywheel, basically, where we start an agency, get a client, get great results for that client, so that client stays, the client doesn't leave. Because of those great results, you know, you're able to charge much more for your service, your agency grows, because your agency grows, you know, your online reputation spreads, more clients want to work with you, the clients that you've got start to refer you on to other clients, your retainers go up, your monthly recurring revenue goes up and so on and so forth. So you've got a positive flywheel. And that's basically what we teach in the agency scale and fast track community, as well as our higher level programs, okay? Now, if you are a starter, if you're just starting out with the agency, etc., then uh, we have the Lifestyle Design Community, which is a free Facebook group for beginners. There's a free mini course in there as well to get you started with social media marketing. Um, the agency scale and fast track community, is probably a bit, um, the information in there won't be applicable for you guys right now. So I will probably wait you know, until you guys join this group, uh, go through the free beginner course in the lifestyle design uh, community. And then once you've got a few clients on your belt, check out this group and you will absolutely love it. But when you're starting out, it's probably not the right time to join this group because like I said, the information in there won't be applicable for you guys just yet. So there's no point in um, you guys join that group just yet, okay? <clears throat> so add to landing page to Facebook group. The Facebook group that we're going to be using is my, my very own, you know, agency scale and fast track community. Um, we're going to be setting up the ads and basically the way these videos are going to be structured in video one, which is this one, uh, we basically, you know, go over the structure. So it's add to landing page. We'll be creating the landing page as well in the, you know, the next few videos. And I'll be showing you guys how to redirect it to the Facebook group. Um, I also want to go over the funnel. So this landing page will be building out from scratch. We'll be giving away a free lead magnet. I'm not sure which one yet. We've got a playbook that we can give away, which we're actually running ads for right now as well. Um, so if you join the agency scale and fast track community, you get a free playbook on how to scale your Facebook ads. And we also have a mini course, again, Facebook ads related. Um, that we can give away as well. So I haven't made my mind up just yet which one of the two we're going to be giving away, but we will be building out the landing page. So I think this will probably be video, what should we do, video two, I think. So the next video will be the, the landing page. Um, then we also wanna set up the tracking. So we wanna know how many people that see our ads actually click through to the landing page. How many people that see the landing page end up joining the group, okay? So we need to set up all of these um, these pieces of code and we need to track every step of the way. So the tracking will be video three. Um, and then of course we need to actually create the campaign. So this Facebook ad, um, we will do in video four. So we'll set up the campaign. I'll show you guys what campaign to select. Um, we'll set up the ad sets as well. And then in the last video, we'll be actually setting up the ad and I'll basically show you guys the whole sort of process, start to finish of what we've just created. Okay, so that is it for the first module. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in video two.